Well, for more on this, we're joined now by Tom Brooks. He is the head of Durham Law School at Durham University in the UK. Thanks so much for joining us. First, help us understand whose interest this might serve. Does Trump actually have more to gain or lose by letting Comey go? I think he has uh, more to uh, lose than, than gain um, in making this decision. Um, and the, the reason is, uh, is very simple. Uh, James Comey, the FBI director until yesterday, um, he was someone who was a Republican Party member for much of his adult life. He was uh, someone who had campaigned for John McCain and Mitt Romney and their unsuccessful uh, Republican uh, campaigns to be uh, uh, president uh, before Trump. Uh, he uh, resigned as a Republican to become FBI director and was widely seen by uh, uh, certainly supporters of Hillary Clinton as uh, meddling uh, in, in that election in, in resurrecting for only a couple days a probe during, uh, during the time that ballots are being uh, uh, sent to voters, uh, opening up a probe into her emails again, only to close it very shortly afterwards. It was seen as very damaging. Have someone who has been very pro-Republican, very much on side, seen as helping Trump get into the White House, uh, whether directly or indirectly, to remove him as the heat gets a lot, well, gets a bit warmer uh, um, on Trump with these Russian probe into what happened in that election, it's, it's, it, all, instead of drawing a line under this, it's just going to draw greater attention uh, and, to Trump's Russia problem. And, and, do, and do you think, ultimately, Trump can get away with cheering Comey's decision to announce further investigation into uh, Clinton's emails, only to come back and say, well, actually, that's why we fired him? <laughs> well, I think he's going to have a real uh, lot of trouble here. So the discrepancy that Trump is using with Comey is saying that Comey made some mistake looking into the Hillary Clinton emails. He had said about, uh, Comey had said about Trump, uh, Clinton's emails that there were many thousands of things sent from uh, one of her associates when instead there were only two uh, email uh, chains is uh, pretty weak. There's still no criminal anything uh, that's been proven about uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, emails. What's really going on I think is that Comey was part uh, was opening up an investigation into the uh, alleged Russian meddling in the U.S. election that led to Trump's uh, rise. And in Trump's letter uh, uh, dismissing Comey, firing him from his post, Trump notes uh, not anything about criminal things about Hillary Clinton's emails, but he notes, well, you had assured me on several occasions that you were not going to have any look into any Russian links about me. Uh, this is very much about Donald Trump. It has nothing to do, I think, really with Hillary Clinton. And in trying to get rid of uh, uh, investigation into how he got into uh, the White, Ho White House, I, we're going to remind a lot of Americans about what Richard Nixon did in firing the independent special prosecutor that was beginning to look into Watergate. And we know what happened next. Uh, there will be a lot of parallels drawn between now and for the foreseeable future, I think, with, uh, with Trump and Watergate uh, right. after this. And ultimately, we, uh, you wouldn't expect Comey to just step aside quietly uh, at this point. And he's going to end up being a thorn in Trump's side, right? Well, I suspect that might happen. I mean, you have someone who is very much a loyalist um, to the Republican cause. You asked me who stands to benefit. So the other side of it is, well, how could Trump benefit from this? So he will be able to appoint someone else as FBI director. Maybe he's going to want to insist that that person draws a line under any investigation into Russian links and so on. But now the pressure is, is greater than ever uh, to have an independent investigation into what's going on. Some type of anything that has the resemblance of a whitewash is going to be uh, called for what it is. It's not just the Democrats that now are calling for this, but now with this action, Trump now has Republicans, senior Republicans in Congress, uh, calling for uh, independent investigation. So instead of kind of stopping things, he's made it worse, and it's difficult to see someone who will be more uh, on side, on his side, than Comey might be. Okay. So I think he's made a problem uh, much worse. Okay, Tom Brooks, thank you so much for sharing your insight there from... Uh from Durham in the UK.